I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to read the solution of inequalities from the given graph. The question here is, use the graphs of the following functions to state solution of given inequalities. So first one, we need to find g of x is less than 0 and from the second graph, we need to figure out f of x is greater than or equal to 0. Now let's begin with the very first one. When it says g of x is less than 0, that means wherever it is 0, it is not part of our solution. So what we will do is add those zeros, we will kind of make a hole, not filled in circles. Right. So these are not part of our solution since we are looking for something which is less than 0. Now when we say this is g of x for us, when we say g of x is less than 0, that means something which is negative below x-axis. So this is this part, is it okay? So on the x-axis, we can draw the arrow like this. So that indicates the solution because that is when g of x is less than 0. Here also you'll notice that in between these two points, graph goes below the x-axis and so that parts that is part of our solution, right? So now based on what I've shown you on the graph, we can write down our solution, right? So we can say g of x is less than 0 at in the interval. So we could write this in different ways. One way to write it is in the set form. We say x belongs to real number where x is less than. What is this point? This point is minus 1. Here we have 0 and here we have 1, right? So we say x is less than minus 1. This is 1 union and where x is between 0 and 1, 0 and 1, right? So that is one way of writing the solution. The other way is you could write as uh, from minus infinity to minus 1, both not included, union, and then we could write this as from 0 to 1, both not inequality, not included, right? Now you could also write simply as these inequalities like uh, you could write this as from x less than minus 1 and x greater than 0 less than 1. Well these are all different ways of writing the same solution and the solution could also be represented on a number line at times. Since we have not specified in which way it is to be written. I am showing you different possibilities. So on a number line, we'll kind of show it like this, as I've shown here. So we can say, well, that is the part of our solution where this point is minus 1. So it is less than minus 1. And it is between 0 and 1, right? So that is the number line for us. Do you get the idea? So there are, actually speaking, many ways. And these four are uh, commonly used ways of representing the solution. You can use any one of them if it is not specified in your test. Now let's look into the second graph. Here we have f of x is greater than 0. So this function is f of x for us and that's the graph. When we say greater than equal to then these zeros, the x-intercepts, are part of solution. So I'm drawing them as filled in holes. Do you see that? So if you do like that, you'll never make a mistake. Otherwise, you might just skip, especially this point, right? Now, we need greater than. Now, we have already taken equal to. Greater than means the graph is above the x-axis. So we are basically looking for this half, right? So these are the points. Now, we can write our solution in any form. This time, I'll use this particular form to express my solution. So for f of x greater than or equal to 0, I could actually, in fact, in this, let me use this particular form. This is more elaborate. So we have solution as x belongs to real numbers where x is less than or equal to minus 4, right? x is less than minus 4, and it is also equal to minus 1. We say, and x is equal to minus 1, and x is greater than or equal to 2, right? So that forms the part of our solution, right? I hope it is absolutely clear 
you have to include all the zeros also when the inequality is greater than equal to right so so I hope that really helps you to understand the concept so we took two examples on purpose so that you understand what is the difference when we say less than or when we say greater than equal to so whenever equal to is involved you have to include the zeros but if it is not involved do not include zeros I'm Anil Kumar subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best